Hey guys, Rachel with Spunky Misfit Girl here, and today we are gonna make this super cute tag folio project, but I am editing in a warning that I messed up the pockets <laughs> part way through. So when it comes to glue your pockets, do not glue on that far edge like I did. Don't follow me, okay? You're gonna to wanna to glue on this inside score line. You're gonna have a flap that makes your pockets here, as you can see. I glued mine shut, okay? This folds down, I glued on this edge. Don't do that. Glue here, and that's just your warning before you get started, all right? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi guys, Rachel with Spunky Misfit Girl here, and today we're gonna do this cute little tag folio project which I have forgotten who it was inspired by. I think it might have been Liz the Paper Project, um, but I don't remember for sure. So I'll see if I can find that for you. Um, but it is really a great, fun, cute little opening guy. So I'll show you, I have it closed up with a little paper clip here, but it just opens up. You've got a pocket here with a bunch of little stuff in there. And actually, if you wanted, you could do something with this and make this an upside down tuck too. Um, I just kind of left it because I liked it this way. And then it opens up to another pocket here. And these are Artie Mays papers that I used to make this one. A little flap here. You could leave it for writing or you could turn that into a pocket as well. I made a little flip here um, on the side. And then this is a little pocket as well, which this is exactly the right size for this tag size, um, which is a common kind of ephemera tag size. I know especially Artie Maze has a lot of kits that have this size tag in it. And so it just makes a really cute little project. So I am using um, some papers from Victoria Designs that I like to make my new one. So we'll keep this here. And what you're gonna want is eight and a half by 10 and a half. So we're gonna take a look. I don't know if I cut this down. I think I did. Okay, so we're already at 10 and a half, so that's what we want. Um, and this could be, you could do single-sided if you want with this. I have double-sided printed it just because I prefer that. Um, and there will be some spaces where things will show. Um, okay, so we're gonna score this the long way. And we are going to do, well, first we're gonna find where I ran off with my scoring tool at. Or not, we're just gonna use something else. Maybe an unopened pencil will work. Okay, so. What we want, let's see, if we're at 12, we've got, we wanna go to three and a half. This is the thing, I don't understand the measurements on this thing. Um, okay, so if we're at 12, let's go backwards. We're gonna go down to nine, and we're gonna go half, and that oh. should give us three and a half, just fine, okay? And then we're gonna go to seven also. And basically the idea here is that you're making three, basically the same size tall shapes here, right? Cause that's gonna form the, your base. And then we're gonna turn it And we're gonna score at six, which is gonna give us our small bottom pockets, right? Okay. 
Okay, so let's fold these and with the paper, if you have one paper that's more desirable than the other to show, you're gonna want that to be up on your pockets like that. I've got a little bit of white at the top here. I think I'm gonna trim that off. I'll ink it too, so it won't be a big deal, but. It'll be a little shorter, that's okay. Okay, so then I'm just going to crease this with my bone folder. And one of these guys is gonna fold in. This is nice paper because it's pretty, but very simple, so I can decorate later on and then this guy is going to fold over and you can do these however turns out best in terms of your paper for what you want on the top you can do it either way and we'll see that one once we kind of get all our pockets in And then, actually, I think I might have, I think I might have folded this a little strangely. Yeah, because I think I was supposed to go Yeah, this, so this is the this is the back like this with our pockets on the back and then our front side is like this. So we actually I think I'm actually going to do this for my back and make my front side go like this. So that's okay, we still wanna fold them both in, we just want our pockets on the front like this. Right? Yeah, cause we like those pockets on the front. Okay, so then what we wanna do is fold our triangle down to meet the side here. That's why, okay, this is why I did this the other way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, <laughs> okay, because what we want is I do want this brown paper showing a bit more. Right? Now I'm, yeah, and so this is gonna come, cause this is gonna come around like this to be our front. Same thing over here. So we're gonna end up with more of this kind of lighter paper. Um, and then we're gonna do our second triangle down like this. Yeah. It makes that nice tuxedo look. I'm a little bit short over here up for my pocket. So I think I might give that a little bit of a of a trim. Line that up a little better. My, my triangle is a little long too. I don't wanna cut anything off though. Okay, so that's the basic shape. 
pretty straightforward. You've got a pocket back here. You've got a pocket here. You're gonna have a pocket here. And then you can do what you like with these, these guys too. Um, and we're gonna put a pocket inside here. But first, I'm gonna ink, of course, before we glue. This paper is so pretty. It's from a steampunk pack of Victoria's that I got ages ago. Huge. I have tons and tons of Tina's um, steampunk stuff. It's because I think she's very good at the steampunk. I'm planning a trip to Switzerland in October, which should be great fun. <laughs> Such incredible mountain views. Um, already just looking at the pictures, I'm just stunned by the beauty. Okay. This guy too, make sure we got them all and good on my edges. So I think we might leave this guy up. I don't know, I think I might do some stamping on this to give it a little bit of more extra interest. But first let's glue our pockets. And all we're gonna do with this one is open it back up like that and just give it a line of glue across this bottom edge of the paper. Fold it back up. And that's our pockets. Now I wanna also add a pocket in here. I printed out some ephemera to go in here too. So let's see what else I have that can make a natural pocket. I didn't really plan for that. I should have printed out another sheet of matching paper, but let's see what we can find for scraps here that will work a lot of little bitty things. Maybe something like this. I kind of like it just being um, a short little tuck spot for this big. And I, I made a, a tag I haven't decorated yet. That's gonna go in here too. So I actually would like maybe something a little less loud. Maybe something like this to not compete with that super gold tag. Maybe something like that. And then we're gonna put this in there, yeah. I like that. Simple is the way to go sometimes. You're mixing and matching different papers. You don't want them to all be competing with each other and be so loud. Actually, I made that a little short. I hope that the tag still fits in there. But we'll give that a sec to dry and take a look. So this guy's gonna sit in here like this. Ooh, he really stands out against those. So I kind of like that guy as a decoration. Could also make a pocket on the inside. 
Got these little cards. They're a bit big. I might have to cut them in half. They're too big for this project, really. But I think that's okay. Well, this one's okay to cut in half. These are a little bit weird, a little bit awkward. I've got these tag guys too that might make better options for my pockets to put into my pockets here like this yeah I'm gonna like that okay so maybe I could make a little flip too on the inside like I did to show you guys that maybe we'll cut this guy off here actually I don't want to cut them off right to size because I need to make a tab in order to make it into a flip. So let's give it some room and ink it up. And then I'm just going to fold. I've got this mark right about here. I'm gonna fold at that mark and I just am eyeballing it. You could score to make it exactly perfect, but I'm just speedily making this into a cute little flip. So I'm just gonna glue it down there on the back of the tab. Slide that guy in there. Super cute. Um, and then I don't know if I want to put another pocket. I didn't on the other one because it was a pretty paper, but I have, I have this guy. It's not exactly the right size. I could cut him down. I think I'm going to cut these edges off because I'm just going to use them as a flat pocket anyway. So I don't want the tabs. And then we can cut here to here to make that sucker fit my space. I think we'll do that. And I'm just gonna give it a wavy line like the rest of the pocket. There, that's gonna be cute. And I'm just gonna make it a tuck spot. Actually, I call it, I'm calling it a pocket. It's really just gonna be a little tuck spot. There. Ooh, I like that, that's cute. Okay, so that's gonna close up. Let's see if we can, yeah, our tag's gonna be too big because I made my pocket too small. That's okay, I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna cut it a little bit on each side. It'll be a little bit of a mutant tag. It's really thick too because I backed it up with cardstock. So my cutter doesn't like going all the way through it. And hopefully that's enough. Okay. Just barely. And I am tall too. I might want to cut it off at the bottom a little bit since I trimmed this guy to be shorter. So maybe we'll put one of our tags in here. Or tickets, I mean. Just inside there. I do want to decorate this guy. Maybe one of these cards it's on here somehow I don't know yet okay so that's the basics what do we want to do on our outside here do I want I think I want this guy on my outside like that I like that gives it a focal point and I'm just gonna make it 
I'm just gonna set it so that it just higher than my pocket and not put glue on that top part. So it goes on as decoration. And then I think I'll do some stamping. I'm gonna open up these guys. And I've got this lovely um, handwriting stamp that I use all the time. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that on both of these, I think. Kinda like this. And then I might add a some postage also. Just to give those a little something extra on that pretty background. A little texture. Okay, and then, so now we're gonna fold up like this and like this. There, that's better. <laughs> and I don't know, I think that's it. I think we're just gonna stuff these guys up. Might want a little something here, I've got these Destination. These are just about the right size for well, maybe a little bit bigger than what I would normally want. But let's see how this looks. If we go like this, yeah. I like it. Going in with it. There. We'll class that up a little bit and let's punch out the rest of our tickets and we can stick those in there. We'll fill up our pockets. One more, I think. And then I think I am going to cut. I'm going to cut this guy in half. Just like that. And give me two smaller cards. The stuff in there. And I think... With my inking, you won't even be able to tell <laughs> that they got cut in half, right? I haven't done much in the way of steampunk projects lately. I've been really doing a lot of just vintage and neutrals kind of themed things, but I've got to restock my booth. Oh, no. Did I... Oh no, <laughs> you guys, I glued my pockets shut. I showed you the wrong place for the pocket glue. Oh no, don't be like me. That was the wrong spot. When you're gluing your pockets. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a silly girl. All right, well, this will be a very decorative uh, piece with not a lot of pockets. Um, you actually want to glue this seam this seam down here. Yeah, I. Th this is one I just don't think we're gonna fix. So these are gonna be our pockets inside here. I'm gonna stuff another ticket in there <laughs> and that's gonna be it. We're not gonna be able to use these as pockets. They're gonna be faux pockets. They're gonna fool you into thinking they're pockets. It's actually okay. I actually still like this. What we could do alternately to there's always a fix. There's always a fix. Is we could 
turn this into a little upside down tuck spot. My, my cards, I feel like, are a little bit too big. Um, I could slide, you know, and you can slide things inside upside down. But I actually think I'm pretty happy with it, just with those de as decoratives anyway. If you, if you weren't making along with me, <laughs> you were watching uh, glue here. When you fold open, you're going to glue here, not on the end like I did. Don't be like me. I'm still going to put this video up anyway. I'm not going to redo it because we're here to live and learn. And that's going to be... Uh, this video is going to be a live and learn experience. I might put these on here. These could be pockets on here. That could be fun. They could be layered. They could be layered pockets like this down here. Ooh, yeah. I think I like that. I'm going to do that. And then we could tuck more. We can get more of our, um, of our tucks by decorating the tag. Um, okay, nope, we want this one up here somewhere, right? Something like that. Oh, silliness. Girl. Okay, and then we're gonna... Just the three sides... There we go. Now we've got two extra pockets for our last couple of tags or tickets. I keep calling them tags. I don't know why. Or tickets. Maybe one of these cards too, but I think they're might be a little too thick. Yeah, they just wouldn't fit. That's cute anyway. And that guy goes in here. Yeah. I'm, I'm pleased with that as is. Um, I might actually put a closure on it. Or I think what I'm going to do with this one is glue my, I'm gonna glue these because I just want them to be looking nice and decorative. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and glue those flaps down just cause I like it on this one. So, super apologies for the big mix-up with the pockets. It's a pretty project. Anyhow. And hopefully, you can make a new one. Maybe I'll, I'll edit in a little disclaimer um, in the front <laughs> to stop you guys. <laughs> All right, but that is... The super cute tag folio. I still love it. I actually really like how this came up. Um, and here's the Artie Maze one that I made too. This was, I think it's a touch of blue is her kit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.